my name is Caroline, founder of Equitopia. We're here at UC Davis with Dr. Sarah Lejeune to conduct an experiment using high-powered x-ray to examine statically the various head and neck positions adopted by horses in their ridden work. We're going to be conducting cervical x-rays of the horse in a neutral position where the head is clearly in front of the vertical. This is the neutral position, waist high, my waist, and we want to make sure she's clearly in front of vertical. And this first shot is documenting the position of the bit in her mouth. And then we're going to be repeating those same x-rays with the horse in hyperflexion, so where the horse's head is clearly, or nose is clearly behind the vertical. Okay, one, two, three, go. Good thing I trust this horse. So we're now in the uh, radiology reading room at UC Davis with Dr. Sprie, our boarded radiologist. We've put here all the radiographs we took, so on the top row in the neutral position, and then we have uh, matching shots in the bottom row uh, after we uh, flex the neck. We're seeing that we have more flexion, so more stress on the joints. There are, biomechanically, a lot of things going on uh, in the neck that probably aren't ever happening naturally for a horse. It's an interesting question, and I think we need to dig deeper. So, yeah, cool stuff. <laughs> 